in today's special, not so special, but okay kind of video, we're going to be talking about brake pedal pulsation. Now, you're driving down the road, you've been driving for a little bit, beating on the brakes, you see now you hit the brakes, the brake pedal pulsates. Now usually a lot of times the steering wheel will pulsate too, it will shake. But we already did a video on that. You can watch that one if you want. But it's the same as that video, but it's a different problem that occurs. So you got your front rotors. When they start to warp and break down, they'll start to vibrate the steering wheel. That is the pull, that is the shaking of the steering wheel in the front when you hit the brake. You have warped rotors. It's literally the same concept but this time you got it in the rear. Now when you hit the brake and those pads compress against that rotor and that rotor is warped, they're basically sliding on it. They're, they're riding a wave, basically. The rotor is warped and the pads aren't, aren't actually seating properly on the rotor to create the good amount of friction to slow your car down. Literally, that is the whole gist of it all. When it pulsates in the rear, 100 times out of 100 is your rear rotors. Now, a lot of times they get rusty. That's another occurrence. Um, overnight, as they sit, there's a lot of moisture in the air. It'll throw surface rust onto the rotor, and if it's not taken off the right way, or it does come off when you brake, that'll end up warping the rotor. If you beat on your brakes hard, like if you drive pretty fast, and next thing you know, you're like, oh wow, you know, that's a red light, let me stop a centimeter before the red light. Yeah, you'll warp your brakes like that because you're putting too much heat on them. Because the pads go against the rotors to create friction to slow the car down. So, too much friction, too much heat lot of heat. There's no way you can stop that of how it has to be. A lot of the times the caliper can lock up, create too much friction, then warp the rotor. But if you beat on it or you get, it's they're nice and hot, but then water hits them and cools them down too fast, it'll warp metal as well. Or if you're putting the wheel on, now a lot of times they have to be star pattern or a pattern designated for how many lug nuts you have. So if it's five, it's a star pattern. Bottom, top, bottom, side, side. That's the star pattern that you have to use for a five lug. Six, star, but do it every other one. Crisscross. But if you put them on improperly, let's say you go around the world. That's improper torque procedure for the wheel. A lot of times, if you do it like that, it'll end up fracturing the rotor or warping head of it really like never happens but it does sometimes but most of the time it's people braking too hard water hitting the rotor when it's hot um, overnight now you get that screeching too when it sits overnight in the rust or the pads are a little heated up or they're wearing down but that's literally the whole video it's a nice quick video. If you got the problem, pulsating in the pedal, replace the rear rotors and brakes. Always replace the brakes, so just replace the rotors. It's kind of, it's, you're defeating the purpose. But, that's the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Nice, quick, easy. All you gotta do, just do as we say. Do as I say. If you got a video that you want us to make, talk about, let us know, put it in the comments. Other than that, have a good one.